Hey guys, Urban here, back with another video, now on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Now, I've had this game since day one, I actually have hit it, played it since day one, but I didn't like it too much at first, I liked the multiplayer, but the campaign, I wasn't feeling it too much, but I gotta say, after I played the Hypo Center, everything just started to, um, kind of get like super, super awesome. So basically, I'm making this video uh, to let anybody know, maybe if like, you know, maybe if you played it for a little while, or you played it first and you weren't really feeling it. Like, if you come from Destiny, it's going to be a little different because you're very limited on the gun choices you have. And it's not like the same thing. You don't just find guns. You have to actually level up to a certain point to get your guns. And then you actually have to level up those guns to get like to get attachments and things for those guns so basically you have to actually play with first you have to level up your character and then at certain levels the guns will unlock and then you actually have to uh, level up the guns themselves so like if you want to get like really cool scopes and like silencers and shit for your uh, for, for your pistol you're gonna have to use your pistol because that's what I noticed off the bat I was like whoa I got my you know I noticed that my pistol wasn't leveling up. You got to use it, and uh, it's really hard uh, sometimes to do that. Like I actually played through uh, the end of this mission using my pistol because uh, I wanted to level it up. Just you know, and and man, I, it wasn't as hard as I thought. Actually, it wasn't as difficult as I thought. But you can see, I just died right there. Uh, this is actually one of the things I don't like. On your shot. Um, it's uh, I have have a very hard time justifying, you know, justifying it because, um, not that I have to justify anything, but you know, it's just that, uh, you know, it's tough because when I think about Destiny, uh, you know, I had to start over here, right? But in Destiny, it's the same thing. In Destiny, you know, you have the darkness zone, and you start over. You have to start over at the checkpoint, which is exactly how this is. But I don't know for some reason. Um, for some reason, when I die here, I fucking can't stand it. I hate it. Like, like I, I wish that when I died here, like I could just respawn right there, right? And it's like I can't figure out why on Destiny it's different. And I think what it is is on Destiny, I see that darkness zone respawning pro uh, prohibited, and I think that's what's causing me to be like, okay, you know, I can't fuck around because. You know, if I die, I'm going to have to start over. So I think maybe that that's what it is. And I kind of like... But once I started really getting that whole thing... Uh, and then I started really seriously like playing it like for real. It was like... It actually got really good. Uh, and I think this mission is actually the start of why it got really good. Because I'm not going to go into any spoilers. But uh, the first few missions... It was just like really boring. Like the first mission, it's like okay, just like a Hollywood action movie. You know, you're throwing in the fucking action, you know, explosions and all kinds of crazy shit. You have all your well, actually, you don't have any abilities, but uh, no spoilers. So I'm not gonna, you know, that's all I'm gonna say about that. However, it's just insane because like after that, it seems like it's just like throws you from mission to mission to mission to mission to mission and and i thought it was gonna be one of those games where you just kind of like mindlessly go from one mission to the next like uh it was very much like very similar to assassin's creed where it felt like you were you basically going into back in time and you could actually somehow replay back back in time uh, it turned out to be part of like the intro mechanic and uh, to teach you part of the game and so it wasn't actually the missions there was all one mission so uh, after you get through that the next couple missions they're pretty crappy but then it's like plot twist and then some really crazy shit happens and then you start to get into it so I started really getting into it after that you can see right now I got my fucking like uh, well, now I get the rocket launcher because I'm shooting that big guy right there. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, you saw I got that machine gun. I love that machine gun. That's my favorite machine gun. 
And that's the thing that you, you really got to find out about this game. Uh, I had a hard time. I, I didn't really find any uh, videos on YouTube that really told me anything. But it was like, uh, I just figured it out. The crazy shit, man. Like, I went to something called, like, uh, it, it's something like Immerse Yourself in Combat or some shit. Some kind of a, a combat um, simulation. And I, 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 I've spawned in there with this gun. I'm like, holy shit, man. What the fuck is this? This is awesome. Because I found immediately, you know, being coming from Destiny, I immediately found that uh, the pulse rifle it's like this white uh, uh, assault rifle that's like bzz, 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 like a pulse rifle from destiny so I chose that and then when fighting the robots it was like uh, so is not really that strong so but I still like it but I definitely this is my go-to gun from now on and finally I actually got the uh, that scope which is really fucking awesome I mean that is definitely one of the best guns in my opinion. That probably will change, but uh, I mean this game is I am fucking now. loving this game, man. I mean if you if you were on Twitch, man, with me when when I was playing the game, oh dude, if you, if you heard me, man. Oh, I, I sounded like a bitch, dude. I mean I had some stuff going on in my life too, so uh, I was a little bummed out about stuff. Um, but I was not feeling. I was not feeling this game, man. But now it's like, fuck yeah, I'm definitely feeling this game. And this level is part of it. I think the beginning levels, uh, I didn't really like them too much. I don't think they were very well done, but this one is a lot better. And it's kind of interesting because you'll actually see a couple levels in, you'll see some similar gameplay where... You know, you could basically just swap out the ghost with Hendrix, that dude right there, and he'll be hacking something, and you have to defend him from an onslaught of enemies that come. And oh man, let me tell you, dude, that was that was hard, man. Now, I think it's a mission before this one, and but that was tough, dude. That was insane. But yeah, this this is really amazing, and um, I just had to say that. And the other thing I wanted to talk about real quick is that. I was actually, because, you know, I got my setup at home. Now, with, uh, I got my new iMac, the 5K iMac. It's, like, crazy. Like, like I literally, it's insane. I am actually, like, psyched about a computer. Like, you, you have no idea how long it's been since I've been, like, like, that excited. Like, I don't know if you remember, like, when you were a kid. When I was a kid, I was very into video games. And what would happen is my mom would take me into Toys R Us. And I would, like, just fucking run straight to the video game aisle. And I would be, like, p like palms on the glass. Like a fucking dog looking at food. And I would just love that shit, dude. And that's how I feel about this computer. And it, I swear I've not felt that way. Like, I have a gaming computer that I built that's really badass. But still, it's kind of like, you know, I, I haven't felt like, it's like, eh. You know, it's like, so it's a gaming computer. Okay, well, you know. You know, whatever. But this computer, it's just like insane, man. Like... Like, if you were into computers, you remember the first time that you got a monitor that supported 1600 by 1200 resolution. And you fucking loved that. And that shit was tiny as fuck, dude. Like, you were the only person that you knew. Like, like adults would come by and be like, I don't know how you can see that shit, man. That's so, that's so tiny, man. It's gonna ruin your eyes. Um, and... Uh, well, they didn't say the word shit, but, you know, I, I paraphrase. What can I say? And, but it was just, you know, this is how I feel. Like, it's like, this literally is like, I mean, I turn this on to 5K and it's literally too small. Like, I use uh, 3K, which is uh, is not really, you know, an official resolution, but the pixels across is like 3100 or 3300 or something like that. So... I call it 3K. It's actually it's actually an official resolution. If you go into display preferences, it's like you know, like the the Mac Retinas. They have like the standard, and then they have bigger text, and then they have more space. All the way to the right, more space is is the 3K one. So it's definitely. Uh, but I mean, it's just insane. Like I can fit. Um, 
I mean, I'm full screening Final Cut Pro right now doing this, but I can actually literally fit Final Cut Pro, Facebook, Messenger, fucking what else do I use? I can fit like all kinds of shit on the screen and it doesn't even overlap. It's just insane. And I love it because it's just, oh yeah, and my to-do list because, uh, my to-do list is very important because, like, I f I'll forget fucking everything if I don't use it. And, uh, it's actually part of the reason why I hold got the whole computer. But anyway, I just got into a huge fucking tangent about the computer. Uh, <laughs> what I was trying to tell you is, yeah, so I got my setup right now. And I have my Xbox back on my computer stand, uh, desk. And so I was, like listening to some stuff on iTunes that I took from YouTube you know some positive like uh, Brian Tracy and some other you know uh, success gurus and because I always listen to stuff in the background while I'm working and I was like wait a minute I got my fucking Xbox right here and it has YouTube on it why don't I make a playlist in YouTube with uh, success videos and, and positive motivation videos and play that on the left because I was actually now I like I've never really been like one to like uh, like go on streams on Twitch and just sit there and not do anything because it's like to me it's like it's a waste of time it's like dude I'm just sitting here watching this dude play games and it's like I'm not doing anything like you know so now with this setup <clears throat> like because a lot of times man like Mac uh, fellow YouTuber morning after kill would go online and I I would go to his twitch and be like oh cool man uh, okay well this is cool and then I close it because it's just like I feel like I'm wasting my time and uh, and other times he would take forever like I, he's got such a following he like it'll just be there music playing and it's just like nothing or uh, or like when he was doing Fallout 4, it was just like, uh, it was like the idol where it's like rotating around the person and everybody I know that does lectures that I go to or anything, they always have music playing and they always have some kind of shit where they make people wait before they start. So I'm kind of like, I'm not sure if that's what he's doing and maybe that's like what you should do because it does build suspense. Like. People are like, man, what the fuck are you doing, man? Come on, dude. I want to see you play, man. Come on. But anyway, I went on YouTube and I created a playlist. And I added videos to the playlist. And I was like, oh, shit. I'm on uh, my Urban I'm, uh, uh, I'm on my urban Combat Kill channel. Because I, I do have two YouTube channels. Uh, one that I post. Um, I used to post tech videos, unboxing. I don't feel like doing that anymore. I basically, I'll just do what I feel like doing. Um, I don't feel like doing it anymore. I won't do it. Uh, and pretty much, I mean, it's just like, I was like, well, fuck it. I'm just going to leave it here. And I will, uh, just, because I'll just, uh, because it's my Xbox, you know, I figure, you know, because you have to, well, you don't have to, but you can sign in through Xbox One to in YouTube as a user. And then you can actually upload videos directly to YouTube from the Xbox One, or you could do some other shit or something like that. But I was like, since why don't I just use Urban Combat Kill, log in from YouTube uh, from uh, on the Xbox, and that way any communication or anything I have to do on the Xbox will be done through my gaming channel, and <clears throat> and you know the playlist is already there, so I can watch it, you know. From, uh, Cause I have like so many playlists on my other channel, man. It's insane. I have like uh, martial arts playlists and like like workout playlists and some and uh, uh, just favorites and videos to watch later and stuff like this. Is insane. But yes, yeah, basically. So I wanted to tell you about that playlist because it's one of the things I do. Uh, is I just listen to non-stop like self-help material uh, like Tony Robbins, uh, Brian Tracy, uh, just anybody, you know, my mentor Raj D. Bazaar, you know, I, I just listen to it in the background all the time and it really helps. I listen to stuff while I sleep. Pretty much, if, if there's a guy, right, he has a video blog 
and it's something that I'm having trouble with, I'll fucking loop that shit while I sleep. And it actually helps out with the problem. Like, your brain is literally, like, taking in everything all at once. So even if you're just working and you're listening to this positive stuff, it will change your life. And I wanted to mention that because you guys are able to see the playlist because it's a, pu a public playlist because I made it public because, like, okay. why the fuck am I going to make it make hidden? Sense. Like, why the fuck do that, right? So it's public, I and know. I just wanted to tell I you that about course. that. No um, I'll keep trying. And that's pretty much it, man. I mean, I am actually uh, psyched. Like, I actually want to replay some of these levels, like co-op, man. Like, I want to find some people to play these levels right. with. So ahead. it's just like, but yeah, my state of mind is completely different about this game, man. That's just interesting about states of mind, you know what I mean? It's just like, your state of mind can change and then everything fucking changes you know with it um but yeah so oh and then as i fall to my death so yeah basically um yeah i'm doing this with my mac i actually have my elgato hooked up directly to my mac and and it works pretty well um <coughs> there's some features i think they're missing right. but anyway I don't wanna really want to go on forever about bullshit. Like, Let's see how far down this that's it for goes. now, man. Peace Limited and enjoy the footage. And check out that playlist and play it. You know, check out some of the stuff on there. Cause so, uh, there's, there's three videos right there right now. There's the Brian Tracy Secrets of Self-Made Millionaires. There's uh, Jim Rohn a message, personal message to you from Jim, which is kind of a vague title, but it's very good. Uh, two of those videos are must-watch. Because they will completely shift your perception of just life in general. Because, because the powers that be, the government, society, your friends, your parents, the Matrix, whatever you want to call it. They really fucking have beat it into you since you were a little kid that life is the way it is. And, you know, they kind of told you that you can kind of go after your dreams. But then at some point it kind of just died. So, and then there's also so many questions you have, like, well, how do I do it? Uh, you know, it, I mean, there's only so many people that like, you know, Bill Gates, uh, Steve Jobs, people that have become rich, people that actually have ideas, all the ideas are taken now, blah, blah, blah. There's so many excuses why we can't do it. So, I mean, there's really, it's really all it is. It's little bits and pieces of vital information that you were never told. Well, if this shit was here at the time of the disaster, um, it in quite the way that you needed to be told so that you understood, you know, how the universe and how life works. So, uh, check those out and uh, enjoy the uh, footage. Peace. you have to stop this. Whatever happened with you and the others, you have to end it. I am really... The only way to disconnect the from the server is by destroying the core above him. Hey, I'm in the control room above. What can I do? Access the primary systems for me. If we maintain a live link via your DNI, I should be able to identify the core's vulnerabilities. You're the boss, lady. Focus fire on the cooling rods in the tower surrounding Diaz. The core's corresponding access point. Once it's open, you're gonna have to get up there and drop it to the other side. Cooling Tower 1, exposed. Let the fire! Back out that cooling tower! They will watch.
Heads up. Spotted a swarm of depth charges heading your way. Stay clear of them. No way around them. We need to take out those charges. Bridge coming down! Get out of the way! Hang on. Something's messing with my connection. We have a serious problem. Your O2 levels are dropping rapidly. You gotta swim faster. <sighs> Grab it! Fine. King? King! 